Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Queenia, and today we're going to be playing the Snowy Escape Let's Play. This is a teenage pregnancy challenge. As you know, some most of my challenges, I think I only have one on the channel right now, but I don't follow the rules to the T, but I do follow them somewhat. In this video, I'm going to read her backstory to you guys, and then we'll get into um, her criticism. It was a warm Sunday. Oh my God! Try again. It was a warm Sunday morning in Willow Creek. Lauren was in the car, still trying to convince her mom to move back to San Marcelo. Everything and everyone she loved was in that city. Her boyfriend and her besties lived there. Why did they have to move at all? She asked. Her mother turned around and said, "Lauren, we moved to get you away from him." Lauren stared blankly, then rolled her eyes. She knew exactly who her mother was referring referring to. Him, otherwise known as Nick, was Lauren's boyfriend. They had been together for two years, and he was the love of her life. <laughs> she didn't believe in puppy love. They had exchanged promise rings and everything. Her parents hated him. They felt like he was too old for her. When they met, she was 15 and he was 17. Now she's 16 and he's 18, about to graduate and go to college. Although Willow Creek is the last place Lauren rather be, she was happy about one thing. Her class was going on a learning abroad trip to Japan in one week. Lauren loved everything about Japan. She also loved Korean culture. Her favorite music would be in K-pop, and she's caught up on all her K-drama shows. A couple days before the Japan trip, Lauren started feeling sick. She was nauseous and throwing up, but no fever. She couldn't figure out what was going on. She figured she ate something bad. Then it hit her like a ton of bricks. She remembered that she missed her period. And then she started panicking and pacing the floor, walking back and forth. Lauren went to the store and bought three different types of pregnancy tests. She hid them in her room and waited till the next day. That Wednesday morning, she skipped school and took all three tests. She blinked several times to make sure she wasn't losing it and she was seeing right. Each test read pregnant in different ways. Scared and unsure what else to do, Lauren called Nick, but he didn't answer. She then called Deja, her best friend. Deja screamed to say congratulations and asked what she was going to do. That moment, Lauren had no idea what she was going to do. The one, she, the one thing she knew she wasn't going to do was tell her parents. So when her mother screamed her name, she had no idea why. She was careful enough to leave the pregnancy test in her room. She ran upstairs to her mother just screaming while holding a pregnancy test. She screamed, what the fuck, you're pregnant? Lauren's dad Matthew overheard her. And he asked too, Lauren, are you pregnant or is this Deja's? Lauren said, Mom, how did you find that? You went through my room? She said, you don't have a room in this house. Your father and I pay all these bills. This is our house. So if I need to go in your room, that's what I'll do. Lauren said, ask Lauren, are you going to get an abortion? Lauren looked at them both, rolled her eyes and said, no, I'm keeping my baby. Almost in unison, her parents told her to get out of the house. They were not raising a teenage pregnancy a child giving a birth to another child. 
With nowhere to go, Lauren called her grandmother. Since her grandmother had also been a teen mom, she understood and agreed to help her with everything. In order to get her grandmother's help though, Lauren would have to follow some rules. She would have to stay in school, get up to a 4.0 or an A in school, and she would have to go to college. If any of those terms were met, Lauren's grandmother would not help her. Lauren agreed, not like she had much of a choice anyway. She told her grandmother she still wanted to experience high school life and she wanted to go on that Japan trip. Her grandmother told her that she could go. She felt like this may be one of her last trips or last time she gets to be a teenager for a while. The next couple days were a blur of traveling. When she arrived in Japan, she instantly felt like home, like she should have been here all along. She called her grandmother and told her that she wanted to raise her baby in Japan. After much argument, her grandmother agreed and rented her a house and gave her 5000 to furnish it. Her grandmother told her that she would only provide the house and the furniture because she wanted Lauren to get out there and make the money on her own. Her grandmother rented her house and gave her 5000 to furnish it. Her grandmother told her that she would only provide the house and the furniture. She wanted Lauren to make it on her own and gain some independence. But in case of an emergency or whenever she needed her, feel free to call her. Okay guys, so I just want to get into cast really quickly and show you guys Lauren and then in the next episode we'll have our first episode. Um, and I'll show you guys what we're living in the new Snowy Escape pack. I'm sorry my um, videos are pretty late. Um, everybody else has already been exploring the pack. But I've been working a whole lot. So anyway, this is Lauren. Guys, she is so pretty. She is so pretty. Like, y'all, she's pretty. I don't know if I made a something that looked like her before, but she is so freaking cute. This is her first outfit, you know, trying to hide the pregnancy. And that's her first outfit. Ah. I made her a second outfit, but it's just like a, um, okay, thank you. It's just like a chill outfit. And her shirt says Japan. Japan in Tokyo that's cute this is her formal and this is her athletic wear hmm. this is her sleeping outfit how cute her party wear her swimwear her hot weather Took her hair down back to that natural. Uh, it's cute. And her cold weather. So, yes. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys is her traits, which may change. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do at the moment. So, the first trait is the Mount Cor. I'm going to um, butcher these names. Korambi. Sightseer because she loves Japan so much. I want her to uh, do that. So um, she wants to. This sim wants to explore my Mount Kamarabi's culture and experience everything it has to offer. She's also a singer. These sims, your sims, get super happy when they are able to sing. Music is within their blood, and their voice is their instrument. Her mother was a singer too, so it makes sense. And she's a heartbreaker. These heartbreakers are experts at flirting and dating. They have the number of every single sim who's single. That's the only trait I think I want to change. Because that's not her character. But it's a new mod pack for teens. And I wanted to try something Ooh. out of it. Let me know if oh, you yeah. think I should go back to that. I put her as creative as well. Because she will be painting and stuff like that. 
But yeah, um, I'm not sure what to do with that. But um, if you guys want me to do that, put the heartbreaker um, trait back in, I can do that. Uh, just let me know. And yeah, if you want to know where I get all these custom traits from, just let me know. I'll probably drop it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll have the next episode out soon so you guys could, uh, so we can start this LP off. Thank you so much, and have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.